guys, welcome back. This is The Voodoo Doll. I am the owner and practitioner at Noir Grimoire, which is my company. I'm a black magician, and I wanted to talk to you today about the title of my video, which is Spelling Narcissism. I get a lot of questions about uh, how can you pay back a narcissist, or how can you hurt a narcissist, and a lot of arguments uh, whether you can actually spell a narcissist or not, because they only care about themselves, hence they are narcissists. Um, Contrary to popular belief, narcissists are made and not born from a jackal, which it seems like sometimes. Um, I have had a relationship with a narcissist as well, which led me to years of reading and uh, reading psychology and journals and things and trying to figure out kind of what makes a narcissist tick. So I can assure you, you absolutely can spell a narcissist. And with spelling a narcissist, you have to know the how and why of why they are a narcissist. Narcissists usually assume this uh, sense of inflated ego when they are young. Something happens to them uh, in, in some sort of environment, be it school or a relationship with a parent or a sibling, where they feel less than and powerless. And so this inflated self of uh, uh, sense of ego comes in to protect them to protect the child in them, even if they aren't necessarily a child, if that makes sense. And so what happens is they start practicing and playing with this alter ego because it's the ego that is is uh, out front and not them. So if the ego fails, it's like, oh, well, you know, whatever. It's, I'm an asshole, but that's my ego. It's not really me. So they, they kind of, it's like a split personality almost. And so when they get out of the environment that's hindering them, whether it be high school, their parents' house, then you really start to see the narcissist uh, flourish. So um, some things about narcissism or some key points in narcissism, if you're wondering if you have in fact encountered a narcissist or if you are a narcissist yourself, narcissists are completely empty on the inside. So normally they seek the outside for source attention. So a narcissist will normally have a harem and it's, it's quite rare that a woman is a narcissist. 80% of narcissists are men. Um, you know, you probably have come across, you know, some pretty evil bitches out there, but that doesn't mean that they're a narcissist. So narcissists usually have a, a large source of supply. And what that would look like is a, is a harem. They'll have quite a few women, um, whether they look good or not, that they can go to for sex, uh, adoration, um, uh, spending time, uh, hell, sometimes they're even getting money from these women. Um, narcissistic tri triangulation is a form of abuse that they use where they will pit you against the other women in the harem, you know, telling you about the other women in their life and dropping little breadcrumbs about their relationships with these other women and then de devaluing you um, according to them. But it's all a trick because they do the same thing to them. They go to that woman and they talk about you to that woman and that woman's like, well, how does she have glitter coming out of her pussy? Why is she so great? It's not that, it's a trick. You know, it's all a trick. So that's one of the key points. Um, if you've encountered someone that does that, they could be a narcissist. Um, in the beginning, uh, adoration, um, it, it seems like it's out of place. They, they love you instantly. They're always praising you. They're, everything you do is amazing. It's rainbows and, and butterflies and glitter and everything that's amazing. And then all of a sudden they take it away. They take it away and then they start to ignore you or start to spend, you know, more time with someone else and you're left there wondering what the fuck happened. You know, am I still not great? And you turn into yourself, you internalize and figure, am I not that great? Why is this person not wanting to spend time with me like they did before? That is another trick, a gaslighting, telling you that uh, an event that occurred didn't occur the way that it did, even though you know damn well that it did. You could have video footage time stamped of exactly what happened and that narcissist would say that didn't happen that way. Um, always trying to uh, to make you think you're crazy, playing you against yourself. The narcissist game is to always keep you off your feet, always keep you off kilter. They are energy vampires. So with spelling a narcissist, you may not be able to make them feel bad for what they did to you, but that does not mean that you cannot fuck their shit up, which you can. So with spelling a narcissist, you need to know exactly what that narcissist values. If that narcissist is an artist, so they value music, um, of course, women, sex, money, 
there are status chasers. A lot of them are status chasers. Um, some narcissists do do well financially and are very prominent, but a lot of them aren't. Uh, a lot of them don't reach the status that they're seeking and their, their inflated ego is all that they have. They don't have any success to back it up. So um, finding out exactly what your narcissist likes is key number one. What do they value? What is the most important thing to them? Um, also trying to figure out um, what what areas you can hurt them the most in. So that would be uh, obviously spiritually, mentally. You don't want to hurt them physically, even though I know it's tempting. Um, spelling them is a very long and arduous process. So what you're first going to do is go after the things that you know that they love. If they love music, if they love uh, uh, hiking, if they love, uh, you know, their cat or whatever it is, you're going to figure out what they love the most. Not hurting any other beings or people, but you're going to go after those things. And by going after those things, you would do a sort of spell, a sour spell, to sour those things that bring them joy. If it's a bunch of women, if it's, you know, fancy cars or whatever, you can figure out a way to sour those things to where those women don't look at them so favorably anymore. And that they don't look at themselves so favorably anymore. So it's really, it's gonna be, it's, it's in the mind. So what you're doing is you're gonna do, gosh, it's, it takes me about a week. It's a five part spell. So you're spelling their mind to where they are not looking at themselves as powerful as they once did. You're breaking down their imaginary walls. You're breaking down their ego basically and making them vulnerable. So when you're spelling a narcissist, it's an internal war. So when you're doing that type of spell, you know, you're you're looking for them to have a hump on their back or something the next week, it's not gonna happen that way. They may still have that harem, they may still have girls fighting for their attention, they may still be out there doing exactly what they're doing, but you don't know what's going on inside of their mind. And that's where you're hitting them, is their mind, because if you change their mind, you change their perception. And their perception of themselves is not so great, they are going to suffer greatly they're going to suffer greatly and it's just gonna make them reach out for more of what makes them happy and it's not gonna bring them happiness anymore because you're breaking up that energy, that connection to the things that make them happy. So that's one way to spell a narcissist. And also, uh, you know, I do a lot of black magic. I work with deities, I work with the Goetia, assigning members of the Goetia or Loa or whatever you're gonna work with to, um, to connect to these beings and teach them lessons. So I always ask my clients, what lessons do you want this person to learn? Firstly, what did they do to you? But what lesson do you want them to learn? You know, someone may say, well, I want them to learn, uh, you know, what goes around comes around, whatever. Well, that's too general. What lesson do you want them to learn? Specifically, what did they do to you that hurt you so badly? Well, uh, they, you know, they made me fall out of favor and I felt like they chose someone else over me. So I want them to experience the same pain of rejection on, on a grand scale that we can work with. So we would work with making that person learn that life lesson, feeling that emotion. Also what I do is I harness all of the hurt that that narcissist has caused my client. Um, you are not their first victim and you will not be their last. Even after the spell, you're not going to be their last because this is who they are. Until their last breath, they're going to be a narcissist. So what we do is we take all that pain, that residual pain, it's, it's energy. Energy isn't created and it doesn't die. So taking the energy of all their past victims, everybody that they've ever victimized, everybody that they've ever lied to, and pulling that energy out of the universe, taking it, harnessing it, all in one kind of atomic bomb, if you will, and putting that back on the narcissist, taking all that pain and just kind of being the, um, the um, protagonist, I guess, for those women and going ahead and making sure that they are vindicated. So we will take that energy and make it into one energy form and send that back to the narcissist as well. It's almost like a pinpointed bullet, it doesn't miss, and it always manifests. They do suffer. Um, the one thing I can say about certain, certain results for spelling narcissists, hopefully you will not be around to see the results because you're going to move on. You're going to 
find someone that truly loves you and that isn't using you. You're going to learn to love yourself and you're going to go to therapy if you need to, to get rid of all the residual gunk of that uh, encounter that you had with that soul sucking narcissist and you're going to move on. You're going to forget you even did the ritual, but believe me, it will manifest and they will suffer. You cannot be attached to seeing results. You have to let it go. You have to do it and you have to let it go because if you keep lusting for results and keep, you know, checking their Facebook and their Instagram and checking their harem's Instagram and seeing if they're still tagging them, it's just holding it on the physical plane and it doesn't need to be here anymore. You need to send it up like a prayer and let it do its job. So you're going to do the spell and you're going to release it and you're going to move on. And I guarantee you, this is the way that the universe works. Once something happens to that person, it could be a year, six months, three months, 10 years, I guarantee you, someone that you haven't spoken to in a long time will call you and say, hey, did you hear what happened to such and such? Uh, you know, his girlfriend cheated on him with his brother and now she's pregnant and getting married to the brother or something like the worst thing that you could ever think of will come back to them and you'll hear about it. Whether you see it on Facebook, whether you see it on the news, whatever, you will always hear about it. That is what I found out when I let things go and I don't lust for the results. It could be however much time has passed. Sometimes even that individual has contacted me and apologized out of the blue. They said, oh, you know, I've had a lot of introspection and I just uh, wanted to let you know I apologize for how I treated you. Well, at that point, I really don't give a fuck anymore because I'm over it and I'm over that person, so keep your apologies. But the spell does work. I've spelled people and have put specific things that I want them to learn, karmic lessons that I would like them to learn, and they have contacted me and let me know how their life went to shit or how they had a hard time and they pulled themselves out of that rough patch and how, you know, how much they, they appreciate people in their lives more and wanted to let me know they wish they had appreciated me more when I was around. And I'm thinking, <laughs> I know exactly what you've been through the last couple of years. And so you wouldn't believe what I've been through. Yes, the fuck I would because I sent it to you. So be free of lusting for results. Um, I know that's kind of a brief thing. I do offer this custom spell, Spelling Narcissism, on my website. My company's name is Noir Grimoire, and my website is www.noirgrimoire.com. I will put it in the box below. And if you have any questions, you can contact me. This is a very long process. It works. I have done it myself. As I said, I was a victim of a narcissist as well. And it took me a long time to kind of understand it. Now that I understand the psychology of it, I'm able to um, and, and, you know, in inject that in my magic. And I've become very strong in that area of dealing with narcissists and making them pay for what they have done. So if you have any questions or you would like to look at the spell, if you want to read my bio, head to my website at noirgrimoire.com and I will see you soon. Thank you.